In order to be profitable, a North American refinery needs to convert as much of the initial crude oil and subsequent intermediate products to higher value gasoline. That's the main purpose behind an FCC, which converts a considerable quantity of heavier gas oils from the crude unit directly to gasoline in the cat cracker. However, there are other intermediate materials that are produced in the FCC, most specifically isobutanes and C4 olefins, that are not terribly valuable in and of themselves, but if combined together, produce a C8 alkylate that has a very high octane value and boils in the gasoline range. Thus, the main purpose of the alkylation unit is to combine those molecules together producing another high value gasoline blending material. Alkylation units are almost always found in conjunction with an FCC. There are two types of alkylation units commercially available and in operation today. One is based on a sulfuric acid catalyst while the other is based on hydrofluoric acid. These units share many similarities. It should be noted that both these units use highly acidic material as their main catalyst. For that reason, all personnel that work on or near this unit must wear special protective equipment in order to prevent acid burns. The graphic shows the flow sheet for a hydrofluoric acid unit. The reaction for both of these unit types takes place in the liquid phase at cool temperatures. Feed material comes from the FCC gas condensation plant. In order to prevent potential corrosion of process equipment, both feed streams are dehydrated by passing the individual streams through a desiccant bed. After dehydration, the streams are mixed with the acid at a sufficient pressure in order to maintain all the material in the liquid phase. The reaction mixture then settles into two separate distinct phases in the acid settler. The acid phase settles to the bottom is sent to a cooler to remove the heat of reaction before being recycled to the reactor. On the other hand, the lighter phase contains the reaction products in any unreacted isobutene. A slipstream of hot acid is sent to the acid rerun column to remove dissolved water and longer chain polymerized hydrocarbons that tend to build up in the system. It's a small tower with about five trays. The top product from the tower is hydrofluoric acid and is recycled back to be combined with isobutene and olefin feed material. On the other hand, the bottom contains the tar-like material and a hydrofluoric azeotrope. The lighter reaction products are fed to a depropanizer where propane is separated overhead. The overhead drum contains both a hydrocarbon and heavier liquid layer. The majority of the acid accumulates in the heavy layer where it is fed back to the reactor feed. Propane product is then sent to an acid stripper that removes a considerable portion of any remaining acid to the top of the reflux drum. Bottom's propane product is then treated with caustic to remove any trace hydrofluoric acid before being sent to storage. The bottoms is then sent to a deisobutanizer. It's a unique distillation tower that separates out three different products. Isobutene at the top for recycle back to the reactor feed, butane vapor as a separate product, and the main product, alkylate, which is high value gasoline blending material. Like propane, the butane product is treated with caustic to remove any remaining hydrofluoric acid.